Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. We have a special guest joining us right now. We have Willie Mack. He's an actor and he's also a comedian. Willie, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited to do this festival, man. Yeah, both. We're excited to have you here as well. It's going to be uh, coming up here before you know it. It is the Sioux Falls Snow Jam Comedy Festival. And Willie is one of the many people we're going to have a chance to see here. Quick question. Have you ever been to Sioux Falls before? Never been. I've heard of it, but I've never been there. Well, this will be a first for you. Now, uh, where do you live currently, Willie? I'm currently in Los Angeles. I've been out here almost 14 years now. Well, it's a little colder here than it is in Los Angeles, uh, but <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> well, like you, you mean like five degrees colder, correct? Yeah, like five degrees. Period is what I mean. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's All talk. Right. Let's talk. We'll come back to the comedy festival here in a minute. But I want to make sure everybody understands who we're talking to here. Uh, Willie Mack is uh, he's an actor. He's been in in many movies and also uh, on a reality show. Let's start with the reality show. When did you get your start as an actor? Was the reality show kind of the first thing? Yeah, the reality show was one of the first things. I did that with um, this lady named Tracy Edmonds. At the time, she was married to uh, Eddie Murphy. Nice. And she had this show idea called College Hill, and it was about bringing uh, eight college students together. It was kind of pretty much um, the BET version of the real world that used to be on MTV. Yeah, yeah, that's that was the show. So, were you a comedian at that point already, or had you not done comedy before you were in act, started acting? I was not a comedian yet, but I was always kind of the goofy class clown type. And what made me become a comedian was this show. So, because I was so funny on the show, I did a lot of the radio interviews, and people would be like, "Oh, we've seen you on uh, the show. You're funny. Tell us a joke right now." And I never had a joke. (laughs) So I remember writing down my first joke. Now, remember, this is my first joke, so it's not the best. So my first joke I've ever written was, so I'm still new to Los Angeles, and since I've been out here, I've been shot at three times. My car got broken into, and my place was robbed. But I got that taken care of because I broke up with that girl. (laughs) See, I think that's good. That was my first joke I've ever written. I like it. I think that's really good. That's really cool. I still think that has legs. Well, I thought it was very, very good. Now, uh, here, here's the cool thing. Uh, you're doing comedy again. You're you're out doing quite a bit of stuff with comedy. But before we get back to that, I want to kind of steer back because you went from the reality show, uh, that, which was based in the Virgin Islands, which is cool, but then you moved to Los Angeles and you started doing some movies and doing some TV programs. Let's talk about some of the stuff you've worked on there. Okay. Yeah, yeah I did uh, Meet the Spartans with uh, Kevin Sorbo and uh, Tiffany Haddish was in there. Um, it was a spoof off the 300, so that was uh, Meet the Spartans. And I've been on, like, CSI, and my my big thing that I do, and a lot of people don't know this, but the real money is in TV commercials. Oh, wow. So I started getting really good at TV commercials. And I'm going to give you all just a short example. For You can do a guest star role in a whole episode of, like, a TV show, and uh, you might make around, let's say, $5,700, which is still great money. Yeah. Now, a 30-second commercial, I did a Domino's, and all I did was take a bite out of a pizza, and that one bite and that one shot of a 15-second, 15, 15 to 30-second commercial, I made $85,000. Are you kidding me? And I eat pizza for free all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really cool. That's very cool. Yes, yes. So now I'm seeing on here that you've also worked with uh, like uh, Chris Tucker. Uh, was that House Arrest? Is that the right movie for that? Well, I didn't work with Chris Tucker. They they did a remake of this. Uh, you know, he did that show Friday. So they did a show like Friday called uh, House Arrest, and it only played on YouTube. And I didn't even know this was out until one of my friends hit me up and was like, "Man, I watched this movie House Arrest," and I was like, "Where? I didn't even know it was out." He's like, "Dude, it has about..." Four million at the, now uh, at that time it had two million, but now it has over four million views on YouTube. This this movie it's like a it's like a YouTube hit, and that I played awesome. a character that was like Chris Tucker. I see. There we go. Well, it's it's very cool, and and uh, there's just a whole lot of really fun projects you've had a chance to work on. Uh, which one would you say is your favorite when it comes to movies and TV and and eating that bite of pizza for Domino's? Is there a project that you have that was like your favorite project? My favorite project had to be this one I did called Pump Water. Pump Water only played in New Zealand. Like in New Zealand, 
I am like the flow of progressives down there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm on the billboard. They got cutouts of me. People dress up as me at, all, at like at events and stuff. And uh, but they flew me down. They actually shot it in Australia, but it plays in New Zealand. So they flew me down there for a week and a half. I had fun down there. Anytime you can leave the country on somebody else's dime with all the expense paid for, yeah, you gotta have a, an amazing time. That's awesome. What is your character's name on the thing in New Zealand? Um, well, uh, I'm just called the Pump Water Guru. So oh. I, I could. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to know all this stuff about water and making crazy low quotes and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's really cool. Probably one of my favorite gigs. That's really, really cool. Again, visiting right now with Willie Mack, and he's going to be in Sioux Falls for the Sioux Falls Snow Jam Comedy Festival. And that's coming up here at the end of February. It's February 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. And you'll be here doing comedy, correct? That's correct, and I can't wait to do it. Now, again, this, this is your first time to come to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, but it's not your first time to be a part of events like this. Now, when you usually get a chance to come to these, and there's a whole bunch of different comedians that are all working together, uh, is that kind of fun to kind of riff off each other and have fun, kind of maybe even growing a little bit because you're hanging out with a bunch of other amazing comedians? Yeah, because, you know, Los Angeles is very saturated with comedians. Like, L.A. is one of those cities where everybody wants to go to become a star so you see a lot of different acts and like and you don't get a let's say at the comedy store or the laugh factory when you go there you see so many big names there every single day and i go hang out at these spots almost four times a week and and you see these acts and you get to learn so then when you get to go out on the road and you just go to other comedy festivals you grow so much by just being in L.A. And then when you're at these other comedy festivals and you get to see all these other comedians, it's, it's, it's a very amazing experience because then you get to connect. You're like, oh, I'm really from New Jersey, but I'm here in Sioux Falls. When you, whenever you're out of New Jersey, let me know, and I'll get you up on stage. So now you're able to get more and more gigs outside of Los Angeles. So that's why I really love coming to these festivals as well. That is really cool. Again, visiting right now with one of the comedians that will be at the third annual Snow Jam Comedy Festival. His name is Willie Mack, and it's Willie Mack with two C's. So if you're looking for him, you'll find that. But I'm going to make it easy as well. I've got a link on our Facebook page that takes you right to his IMDP page and and, uh, some of the information about him. Willie, we're excited to have you in Sioux Falls. Thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us here on the program as well. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Again, Willie Mack, and he is one of the many very funny comedians that we'll see right here in Sioux Falls for the third annual Snow Jam Comedy Festival. It's Thursday, February 21st through Saturday, February 23rd. Tickets and all the information and everything available at the website Sioux Falls Snow Jam Comedy Festival dot com. And that's a long name, so I have a link to it on our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio.